I'm replacing another stem here on a Harishoff 12 and uh, we need to make a pattern of it obviously before we can make the stem itself. It's going to be laminated. First thing we had to do was trim off the forward end of the keel because it was in terrible condition right here. The rest of the keel is in great shape. So I've cut, you saw me do it with my little suicide saw there, I cut the very top of the keel off, then I squared a line at the end of it and cut that off. And then I had to take a little rabbit plane and reach through this area right here where I've just got the garbage plank sprung off with my hands and plane the top of it nice and smooth. Now it's a little difficult to plane that in there. I'm using a rabbit plane actually and it's very, very sharp. The wood's in very good condition and I have to reach through there and sometimes I can go with one hand or two hands but it's a little difficult, a little tricky but after you get it going a little bit and you learn how to do it, you can do a pretty good job of it. And the reason why I'm doing it is to smooth out the cut that I've made and then actually I'm sighting it across like this to make sure that this part is parallel to this part so it isn't twisted or anything like that. And uh, I've got it nice and flat and uh, I'm going to... I've positioned the stem back in place and just propped it up and on top I've got actually lined holding it in place and now I'm going to extend on to the stem with a piece of plywood that's going to continue the pattern all the way down here so I'm going to actually use the stem as part of the pattern and then I'm going to add on to the stem to make the rest of the pattern all in one piece. Tell me what you're doing. Now I'm just holding it onto the end of the stem here for that hot glue to dry. That's the easiest way for me to attach it because I don't want to bang on it with nails and I don't want to screw screws into it or anything. So this is the answer right here. Now just a little patience and that glue will go off and I'll be able to remove the stem with this pattern connected to it. I fit the plywood down tightly against the top of the keel where I've trimmed it. Now that piece of plywood only represents, as far as this pattern goes, the very top of the keel itself. Now the rest of the pattern I have to really, I'm trying to get the rabbit line onto the pattern. So I've sprung the plank up into position, I've taken a pencil and drawn onto that pattern the very bottom of the garbage, so that represents the first part of the rabbit line. Now, like I said, it's connected off to the stem. The stem and that piece of plywood are the pattern to make the new stem. So what I've done now is I've come up forward and I fit all that planking into position and I'm going to take a little drill and I'm going to drill a hole right across from the rabbit line onto the other side like this, you see, and then pull it back out again. And the reason why I'm doing that, I'm going to do it all the way down. The reason is that I am going to lay this side of the pattern down on the table and I want to mark that line onto the table. Well. I can't do it because I can't get underneath there to do it. So what I've done is drilled holes across. Once I lay it down on the table, I can just insert the drill into the hole from the other side and drill onto the table. That's going to mock the rabbit line from this side onto the table. Now this is our pattern. We're going to use this to set the brackets on the table over there. Now the plywood represents the very top of the keel. You saw me mock it off with a pencil at the very forward end of the keel. The holes have been drilled from the port side over to the starboard. I'm going to insert a drill through those holes to mark the port side on the table. Everything we need is on this thing right here. Everything is generated from that rabbit line. The back of the stem, the cut water, just everything. So this is what we've needed. It's much easier to do it this way than it would be to put a piece of plywood between there because these things are just flapping back and forth. You'd have a hard time trying to mark it out. This is the answer.